Hello, good morning everyone. Today is Sunday, August something, and today the whole family is headed to the zoo. We're just waiting for my dad to finish up some yard work. I found one of my favorite mugs from my childhood in my parents' cabinet. I also put on a bunch of eye makeup today because it's about to be fall, and I get to play with all my fall eyeshadows, aka just like red and gold, and I'll probably get sick of it like one week in September, but whatever. Stella found my lamp and we just found out that it's a color changing lamp. Maybe we knew that when we bought it, I don't remember. It was a Christmas present, but she just discovered it and she's loving it. Is that a cat? Yeah. So we're gonna let her play with that until it's time to go. But I do wanna show you guys how stinking pregnant I look today because it's gotten real. Okay, so here's the front. Definitely looks like I stuffed something in my shirt. And here's the side. He is a big little man. Cat? cat? You know we're going to the zoo, right? We don't have to lay in bed all day and play with a lamp? No. Lamp. No. Lamp. Cat lamp. No. Nap. Lamp. Are you saying nap? You want to take a nap? Nap. Nap. I've never known a two-year-old to beg for a nap. Hello everyone, good morning. It is the next day. Stella and I are headed out to the grocery store to buy some ingredients to make everyone a nice, big, warm dinner tonight because it's a rainy day. She's having a blast in the back seat right now. I am actually wearing my overalls out for the first time since I bought them because it's just been way too hot. Today it's nice and cool, so we busted them out and I'm kind of busting out of them myself. I have one button undone because I am eight months pregnant, but we're making it work. So tonight I'm gonna to be making everyone jambalaya spaghetti squash. I've only ever made it once before in Texas because Nick hated spaghetti squash and he also hated jambalaya. So combining the two didn't exactly make for the best dinner, but my dad has pretty much the same taste that I do. So hopefully everyone in the house tonight likes it. So we're going to go to the grocery store. We're going to a really big one called Mariano's. I call it like the Disney world of grocery stores. Did I used to call that did I used to call the Texas grocery store that too? I used to love H-E-B, but Mariano's might be better than H-E-B. Is My Chemical Romance really playing right now? I haven't heard this song probably since high school when I wore a lot of eyeliner. <laughs> that baby. Mommy was just reliving her middle school days. Fun fact about this grocery store is it actually used to be a middle school and they knocked it down and built this big ginormous grocery store. All right everybody we did it. We got everything to make our dinner tonight and also Waffles were on sale for four boxes for five dollars. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but it sounded like a really good deal. So now the freezer is going to be 50% waffles. I didn't even try to film in there because it's kind of just a maze. And I knew if I tried to film in there, it would take me all day. So I will show you what we bought when we got home, but it was mainly ingredients for what I told you I was making for dinner tonight. Oh, mm -hmm. 
so dinner is in the crock pot. Stella is napping, and I'm actually about actually blah, 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 blah. I'm actually about to clean up some of the clothes that's scattered all over this room. I ordered a couple clean out kits from ThreadUp. I am not sponsored, but I do love them. They are an online thrift store that I buy most of my clothes from, and they will actually buy your old clothes from you. And they send you these prepaid shipping labels to, well, it's a prepaid bag with a prepaid shipping label on. It's a bag with a prepaid shipping label on it. So I got three of those and I'm gonna go through my clothes and they also accept baby clothes. So I'm gonna go through Stella's clothes as well and ship some stuff out to sell. I feel like recently since coming out as a single mom, I've been getting a lot of comments, mainly from I think the same person, commenting on my spending habits and how she doesn't understand how I shop as a single mom and I don't work and all this stuff which is crazy because the video she's commenting on, I'm making a profit off of. YouTube does in fact pay me. I did not think that was a secret. So I do have income, nobody worry. And I'm also very, very into budgeting, couponing, etc. So if you guys are interested in like a what I spend in a week sort of video, or just like a budgeting video in general, or how I save money sort of video, definitely let me know because I feel like I'm pretty good at it. This is the bag they give you. It's actually folded in half. It's huge. So they give you this ginormous bag with the shipping label, like I said. And this is the reason why you guys haven't seen a real like unpacking, organizing sort of video because I just ran out of places to put stuff. So I'm gonna go through this, like see right there, you can see Stella's um, Christmas pajamas from last year that definitely don't fit anymore and definitely won't fit for Christmas So I'm gonna be packing some of this stuff up. This is actually my favorite skirt of all time I got it from H&M Probably five or six years ago and unfortunately I shrank it in the dryer or something and I don't know why I keep telling myself that I should keep it I mean it could probably fit Stella before it would ever fit me again. It's just like very, very, very short. So I'm saying goodbye to it today and I'm really sad. Okay, so I've got a full bag now. I'm actually gonna slip in a couple pairs of shoes that I will probably never ever wear, AKA mostly heels. I wore these, I can't even remember the last time I wore these, but I know that the last time I wore them, they completely chewed up my heels. So I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye, evil shoes. And just like that, I cleared up a good portion of the floor over here. That bag right there is actually all yarn from back when I was super into crocheting. And I'm thinking I'm going to get some sort of shoe organizing rack kind of thing and maybe put yarn in it and the couple pairs of shoes that I have because I really don't own that many pairs of shoes, but I do have a lot of yarn. Baby daughter has woken up and she's drinking her milk. How was your nap? Good? Sorry, I won't ask you questions while you drink your milk. And now while I'm already sitting here, I am next to the pile of baby registry stuff. I think we can do the daily Hi. video. Hi. Hi. I think we can do the daily unboxing of a couple baby registry things so we can thank you guys for the gifts that you've sent for baby brothers. So right off the top, I grabbed this one and there's no gift tags. How am I supposed to thank somebody? There's no gift tags. There's no invoice either. Okay, my apologies to whoever sent this gift. I really do like to do like a personal shout out where I say your name and everything and actually thank you more personally in the videos for things that you've sent to our PO box that we used to have or our baby registry. Um, so unfortunately these two items do not have any sort of invoice from what I can see. It's not on the label, right? But to whoever sent us these two items off of our baby registry on Amazon, you sent five onesies. They have short sleeves and they are in size newborn, which is awesome. I need basic layering pieces like this since baby boy is going to be a winter baby. And also these newborn Burt's Bees onesies. If you sent these, I apologize that I do not have a gift tag to thank you personally, but thank you so much for thinking of us. Okay, I'm waiting for the lighting to calm down a little bit. There we go, is that better? Okay, so the next package here definitely has a gift invoice in it. It has quite a few. Okay, hi Juliana, happy belated birthday and congratulations on the baby boy. Take care and all the best with the new chapter of your life, Danny. Thank you so much, Danny, for this gift for baby brother. Oh, 
Actually, this is more for me than anything. This is Mother Love Nipple Cream. I've never tried this before, um, but when I was feeding Stella, which I wasn't able to breastfeed Stella, but I did exclusively pump for about two months before her milk protein allergy was just too severe and she could not accept my milk anymore, I, my nipples were torn to pieces and anything and everything was being slathered on them to try and heal them and i've never tried this brand but i've heard amazing things so i put it on my registry so thank you so much for thinking of me and the postcard postpartum process and then danny was also nice enough to send some reusable nursing pads which is going to be very helpful um, for breastfeeding and everything, I believe these are made of bamboo. It said so on the wrapper, but I took them out of the wrapper. Organic bamboo nursing pads. So this is awesome because it's definitely going to be useful and also it is reusable so I won't be spending money on disposable pads. Since getting into cloth diapers with Stella, I have been getting into a lot of things like this, just reusable products that I can just throw in the washer and not have to repurchase over and over and over, things like that. And then also, um, I recently purchased, instead of using cotton pads for toner on my face, I purchased reusable pads for applying that sort of product. So I'll probably talk about that if I do indeed do some sort of budgeting video because I've been saving quite a bit of money on my different toiletries and this is going to be Awesome, I just poked myself in the eye with this. So thank you so much, mystery person from my baby registry for the first two gifts. And thank you so much, Danny, for sending the nursing cream and the nursing pads. I am going to put these with baby brother's stuff. Right now I'm doing a combination of drawers and closet. So this is baby brother's sock accessory sort of shoe drawer and it's also going to be the drawer that I keep his layering and basic onesies in. So this is actually exactly where these are going to go and I've been folding them kind of KonMari method, although that was kind of a fail. So we've got all of his little sockies here, little booties, little shoes, little teething mitts, and then hats all over here and then the onesies. And then this drawer is all of his pants. It looks like he has a lot. Oh wait, no, this isn't all pants. Just right here is pants, and then all over here is onesies. So the gray onesies are actually gonna go in here and I'm gonna fold them better. Um, these are all newborn, I think. And then it's zero to three, three to six, and then anything else that's bigger. So that's what I've been doing for onesies and pants. And then he also has half of Stella's closet over here. And this is where I put everything that needs to be hung or that would just be too annoying to fold. So he has all of his footy pajamas going from size newborn until I believe we have things up until 24 months that are like handy downs from Stella. Like these outfits were Stella's. And that's how everything's looking so far. And then these two things from Danny are actually going to be added to my nursing cart that is slowly coming together here. I will still show you guys dinner once it's completely done, but while we wait for the spaghetti squash to cook in the pressure cooker, I'm actually gonna take Stella for a walk since it stopped raining. Pop the hood. You're saying we, we didn't even start swinging. We. Hello, good morning. It is the next day. I forgot to finish the vlog yesterday. I also forgot to show you guys the finished product from dinner. So I'm going to actually insert a picture on the screen of what the Pinterest recipe said it should look like because I overcooked the squash and it dissolved the second it went inside the crock pot. So mine looked nothing like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.